Good day, everybody. So, this is a Royal Epoch tele typewriter. This is a brand new machine, which uh, I got in July. Um, as you can see, it's a nice looking machine. This though, is all plastic. Not entirely a big fan of that, but I've decided that it isn't too bad on coming back to it. Um, you can get profile shot. Nice lines on it. Nicely designed machine. So, let's see. Initially, I did, was disappointed with this typewriter because these keys are have kind of a sharp edge. Is this sort of a sharp edge? That you even have to wear off. Sort of still a burr on it. That, you know, over time. It just go like this and it'll disappear. But, um. Also. I didn't know how to type right. <laughs> Is what I'm realizing. These machines were made for people who know how to type. On a manual typewriter and it's something that you have to learn how to do um, and it's not as easy at first but it is why I liked the 1940s or 50s uh, Smith Corona the best because anybody can type on them and th they're a machine I'd recommend for a beginner but what is nice about this well this is a top of the line model for today. You know, they, they stopped making manuals for a while and then they started, but this is a top of the line model. This carriage is really nice. Royal typewriters, especially their standard ones tend to be very well appointed and this one is too um, if you can see this is a really long barrel and I have got the paper in sideways so you can actually type on the paper sideways um, or type an envelope a longer envelope in this machine. It's a much longer barrel than than my other typewriters. It's got a leaning tower, leaning tower paper support. No, that is yes, this is fully up. <laughs> um, what else? Unlike on a Smith Corona where the lever's back here on either side for the carriage release, it's a button. This is the carriage release here. Um, one thing I thought I had a lot of getting used to was this is a floating. <laughs> this is a floating carriage return. It floats. It's like up and down. And I had to get used to it. It's even sort of tricky at first. You gotta get used to doing it. Um, let's see. Hope H I L. I must stand for intermediate. Somebody was making fun of that. Who don't know what they're talking about. Um, 
I don't know what this one is. Plus and minus. Gotta refer to the manual for that. Uh, here's your, there's your, your collar. What's the automatic spacing line? Automatic spacing is good. Um, you know what though? One thing that I dislike about this machine is... And I didn't think that... You know, you look back on it and you don't really see it, but you can see, like, some of the letters aren't at the same height, so it's a little weavy. I don't like that. By the way, this type is a little faint because this ribbon needs to be recharged, and I'm going to recharge this ribbon. Um, and you do that by putting... India ink on it. You brush India ink on it. So under the hood This looks like metal, but It's Just plastic um, Under the hood, it's really nice um, These are Big thick chrome hammers um, nicely designed, uh, I don't know what you call this, but nicely designed thing there. My parents used to have a Smith Corona with a jewel right in the middle. It was a big electric typewriter that was top of the line, which I can't find anymore. A big blue one, and please, if anybody knows what I'm talking about, let me know. I don't think so, I can't find it. Um look under the hood it's really nice under the hood um really 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 nice these are metal spools um uh let's see and uh so unlike uh unlike a smith corona where the numbers are in little Numbers are in little shield or heart formations, but then there's three slats under. This is just a whole bunch of group of triple slats in there without much space. And go back, and these keys, like I said, almost, see this one? Almost needs a little steel wall on there, or a small file, nail file. Maybe a nail file. Just go like that. Get some of that burr off of there. But if you type correctly, I think you know how to use this machine. But I don't think it's a good beginner. I would not recommend this for a beginner typist um, at all. Also, this barrel. This barrel. Either I haven't figured it out yet, or this barrel. So if you set it on, what is this? This is set on single space. If you move the barrel with your finger, it doesn't move by single space. It moves by like half spaces. So you get this stuff that looks like See where the eye is and it's like in between or like that. If you're not careful, you get this stuff that's like half raised if you're moving it with this thing. Um, which I'm used to moving it with this thing because I have that Smith Corona, which from the 40s, which the, the lever doesn't work. So... I, I wouldn't say this is a beginner machine, but it's a really nice uh, design, brand new looking design. Um, I should take this paper out to show you this barrel because the paper is fooling you. 
This is a really long carriage. This is a really long carriage. So a normal piece of paper looks like that. And right, so this is the piece of paper I was doing the other day. So you can see I got the paper in sideways. So this is about the size of a regular carriage would end here. But this thing, you can put the paper in sideways. Which I think is... Which other people may not understand this, but... I think that's great. Now I can type sideways, or... I can type this in columns on the paper to make it look like a medieval ma a medieval uh, manuscript or scroll because scrolls used to have columns you open it up and you see columns um, anyway that's it uh, let's get the distance shot